fun. We could really go ride in the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control, and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration, and if I make a mistake, Go it's away. called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Ashton, and I just like to share life with you. So. I just made the smoothie and I'm scared. I don't I don't really make a lot of smoothies, but I have spinach that needs to be eaten because it's starting to smell and we all know that's really gross. So I am going to drink the smoothie. I've been I've gotten quite a bit of work done on my computer this morning and I rode my bike for an hour and watched a YouTube video and what else did I do? Oh, I got up and colored for an hour. I'm trying to find something new to just wake me up in the mornings because like I said in my last video, I've been having a really hard time waking up lately, which is not like me. And I also, I had my Alexa wake me up to Post Malone this morning. So I woke up to Sunflower by Post Malone. So, I'm having trouble understanding. See, I thought I whispered. I usually refer to her as the robot. Is it hair on my tongue? Get it down. But anyways, I'm trying to get as much computer work done as possible before I leave for the gym today because, I don't know, I feel like I've just been slacking lately. I'm in a really weird place in my life right now. I don't really have a set schedule quite yet and I really need to make one, so. Cheers to being in a weird spot in life, I don't know. Also, I still haven't done my hair this morning or brushed my teeth, but we don't have to talk about that. I'm getting there. That's sour, but I like it. I'll put a little bit more water in that. So in this smoothie, I packed it full of spinach. I did frozen strawberries and then um, a square of like it's a, the Aldi brand of Mio's, the water flavoring stuff, but it's a, I think it's pineapple strawberry flavored and it's the energy boost because I need an energy boost, but this is actually really good. I need to start making more smoothies. Also, I really need to go grocery shopping, but I really don't want to. I kind of want to push it and see how long I can go without getting groceries just because I like to do that sometimes because I accumulate foods that don't get eaten, so it forces me to eat them. But we'll see. We'll see how long that'll last. I burnt my tongue yesterday. Uh, it hurts so bad. After I get done with some more computer work, I need to pick up the house too because it's just a little untidy and I need to vacuum the floor again because having two Australian Shepherds is not the move if you don't like to clean the floor every day. On the bright side of not having any groceries, I mean, I guess this doesn't count as not having any groceries, but I have a lot of meat, like I froze a lot of meat. So, we're good on protein. That's good. It's just like veggies and egg whites. I have a hard time living without egg whites, but it's okay, we can do it. Something I have been forgetting about lately, that I used to make all the time is protein waffles and protein pancakes with the Kodiak mix. I really like that. I haven't made anything like that in a long time and you can also bake with it. I need to start doing that more since I, since I don't have groceries. I have a big box of Kodiak mix. So yeah, just thinking out loud. Sorry, I've been on my computer for way too long. that 
this is not cute. But it's better than washing the couch every week because I like to lay on a clean couch. And with my dogs, there's no such thing as a clean couch. So it is what it is. Also, I'm washing all the other blankets, so that's just it's gonna look like that for now. But I have no idea where my dogs are. They're outside somewhere. I'm trying to kill time while my computer buffers. It's been buffering for 15 minutes now. So that's making me a little bit nervous. Also, the fact that I don't see my dogs anywhere is making me nervous. There they are. All right, I'm still waiting for my computer to stop importing whatever it's importing because it decided to buffer for too long and then it said to refresh and now it's having to re-import everything. I love technology. Anyway, I have vacuumed the floor. I think I'm gonna like clean, clean the floor on Friday. But for now, vacuuming is fine. And I'm just having a little, I'm saying snack, but I guess this is lunch. I'm having two ounces of ground beef. It's lean ground beef and then some spinach. We're really having our spinach today. There is some mushrooms. I threw some garlic in there and then we're having some leftover fried rice that has peas and carrots in it. And I'm hoping this will fuel me very well for my workout that I'm going to try to get to as soon as this imports. But I'm gonna eat this and then I have some Amazon boxes that I want to open. I think it's some stuff for our room, our bedroom. I am very slowly getting our house decorated, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever finish actually decorating our house. We'll see, but here they are. I think it's our duvet. Yes, it is our duvet. Oh wow, it's got a lot of fluffing to do. I got a king size duvet. Gosh, this is so weird. It almost looks like powdered sugar. And it's bouncy. All right, box number two. This is either a duvet cover or and or bedside lamps. It's both. Here is our duvet cover. It's a green. It looks like it's gonna match our sheets pretty well. Portland picked out the color. I let him pick out the color. I gave him like three choices <laughs> and this is the color he picked so I am going to wash it of course it's just like a linen material okay here are our lamps I think I'm gonna wait until I get home from the gym to put that together Hopefully they work. I pray they work. I don't know why, so like they may not work. My computer is still importing, so I guess I'm going to go to the gym now. I can't keep putting it off or I'll never end up there and I'm already past the time I like to go. Look, air in the, oh, it's growing. You can't even see it. It's growing. Holy cow, okay. Um, that's Interesting. I don't know why I thought it would be so much bigger. I didn't realize how much not bigger a king was from a queen. Also, don't mind the rug hanging up there. I decided I'm going to put it in my room when I get my office together. So I don't know how long it's going to be there, but for now that's where it's hanging out. All right, I'm going to change my shoes and head to the gym because, like I said, we got to get this ball rolling. It's late. It's late in the day already. Every time I open this pre-workout, I cough. It's just like in the air. I don't know why. I'm not gonna lie, this is not my favorite pre-workout, but we have it, so I'm taking it. <coughs> oh my God. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. I 
It's a lot, of sell every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, They'll see with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran, said a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go But even that could change You could flip the gray matter Like some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say Fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst thoughts say And turn them to a game Take I think this is the closest I have ever parked the To the actual Walmart Like three spots away Alright, so Wow My camera's really wobbly on my tripod and there's a person in the car next to me, so that's really awkward. But I'm going into Walmart. I'm going to try not to buy food. I think my mom has talked me into buying the new Doritos Smart Food popcorn. And then I might get some popcorn kernels and the skinny popcorn as well. I'm just going to get all the popcorn. And that's like, oh, and Quest Bars. But that's the only food I'm going to try to let myself get. And then some other super random things. But I'm going to leave my camera in here since it's about to die anyway. So... I will see you when I get home. I don't want this. It's so cool. I'm looking for a donut tray, but all they have is this mini one. Oh wait, it's a two pack. Okay, interesting. There is a box on my doorstep. I wonder what it could be. I don't remember ordering anything other than what I just opened today. Okay, so I just got so much stuff. I, I laid it all out for you. Isn't it so aesthetically pleasing? I know, Winnie. I know it's not. Yeah, I went in there for pretty much two things. They didn't, well, two things plus a few of the things that I actually did find. But two of the main things that I needed, they did not have. One of them was Quest Bars, which the package was from Quest, by the way, so I'm going to open that in a minute. I don't know what it is, but I'm excited to see. I always get so excited when I see stuff from Quest because I'm never expecting it. And it's so fun to get mail and you don't know what it is. Anyways, I'm going to show you what I got. It is the most random pile of things ever. I spent way too much. I literally said I wasn't going to buy any food and here I am just indulging in all the snacks I've been craving. And things for maybe some recipes, we'll see. But yeah, let's start with the randoms. So first I got a tennis racket to whack bees with because Cortland left our other one on the back of his truck, drove away and it disappeared. So we've been missing the tennis racket. And then I got a few boxes to send some Mother's Day gifts in, I think. Well, actually I'm not gonna say because I don't want my mothers to know what I'm doing. And then I got some nail hole patch, which is actually, I'm gonna use it to fill in the holes from the carpenter bees because I, I sprayed some stuff in there to kill them. And I think it actually worked because I've noticed a lot less, but you're supposed to plug the holes after four, 48 hours. And that was the cheapest thing I could find. And I really don't care what it looks like. I just hope it works. And I got these sandpaper to Finish sanding the stupid table because I'm pretty sure Portland stole my other sandpaper after I asked him not to. <laughs> Anywho, I got a face razor. Well, it's a set of three because I need to shave my face. The little electric razor I have just, it doesn't do the same thing. It doesn't shave it all the way. So when I put my makeup on, it's still, you know, if you're a girl, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, on to food. I guess you can call it food, I don't really know. I got these caramels because I've been craving something to like suck on. 
I know that sounds weird, but sometimes I just want something in my mouth, but I just, yeah. That, and I'm also gonna try to, um, like melt it down and put it on popcorn because I am currently just a popcorn fanatic at the moment. As you'll see, I got some more popcorn kernels. I got the white ones. I don't know what the difference between white and yellow is other than white and yellow. Does it taste different? I don't know, we'll see. These were actually cheaper than the yellow ones. So I was like, why not? I don't really care. I got the sour cream and onion popcorn seasoning. It's only two calories for a fourth a teaspoon, so I figured it's worth it. I got some espresso powder because I've been wanting to try a lot of recipes that need espresso powder, and I feel like it would just make a lot of desserts better. So yeah, I I bought it. Next, I got some basil leaves because I was out. Worcestershire sauce. Yep, I said it. Got some self-rising flour, which I don't really use a lot, but I do like to have it for when I do need it. So I bought that for backup to fill up my container. Same thing with sugar. I got sugar. We don't really use a lot of sugar, but sometimes I bake and cook with sugar. I almost got egg whites, but they were like, it was $5 for a carton. And I was like, I don't really need these. So I'm gonna wait until I go to Aldi to get some more, which is what I was gonna do with food period. But here we are. Breadcrumbs, because another thing, kind of like the flour. I actually use, I think, breadcrumbs just as much, if not more than flour. Portland likes air fried chicken with like the crust on it. He's so bougie. They didn't, one of the things that I went for was the Doritos Smart Food Popcorn and they did not have it. But they did have this. So I got this, I'm gonna try it. There's four servings in here and three cups of this popcorn is 150 calories and it's pretty good. We have two grams of dietary fiber and two grams of protein too for that three cups. So I'm fine with that. Um, I got this hot sauce. So I am not a hot sauce girly. I, I actually, when I was in this aisle, I was looking for like, just your regular Tabasco because I really like to do um, plain Greek yogurt, Tabasco, and shredded chicken and put it in like a wrap for kind of like a buffalo chicken dip type thing. But this, like the peach bourbon just sounded so good and so I thought I'd expand my hot sauce horizons. I've just never been a hot sauce girly, so we'll try it. I feel like you can't go wrong with peach bourbon anything, so. I also got this Hershey's syrup, probably for some sort of recipe I'll end up doing, but I feel like this is just nice to have when I'm craving something with chocolate in it. And then I have never seen this before, okay? It's a fake honey, which if you're not in a calorie deficit or you don't need to be in a calorie deficit, stick with normal honey. But I like as a coach, I like to try new things to see if it's worth it. So yeah, it's just, it's one of those things I'm trying and for future reference for when I do need to be in a calorie deficit, it's only 50 calories per tablespoon, which is only like 10 calories less than a regular honey. So seriously, I honestly wouldn't say it's completely worth it, but I just like to try things. So. Yeah, and it was actually pretty cheap. It was only like $2 and something. I got some cooking spray. I wanted the pure olive oil one, but it was like $2, if not more, more. It's like, why am I gonna pay that? It's not even, it's fine. I got Smart Pop 100 calorie bags, kettle corn version, because I've been craving these. Last time I looked for them, I couldn't find them, so I bought them. I also got coffee because we're out. This is the cheapest one I could find, honestly. I mean, I didn't look super, super hard, but I don't think I've ever tried the great value, and I do like to try off-brand things. I hope it's good. If it's not, don't tell me. But I'm really not that picky. As long as it's kind of dark, we're good. I usually do Colombian, though, so... We'll see. I 
like the Sam's coffee, the Sam's Club coffee, so I don't know why I wouldn't like the grape value. It's the same thing, right? Okay, on to alcohol. I have been craving red wine for some reason, and I don't have any, which is weird. Everything I have is white. <laughs> so I got some red wine to put in my wine rack. I don't know which one I want to put in the fridge. So I got this. I have never had this wine before, this brand, but I know I'll like it because it's super sweet and it's a red muscadine wine. So yeah, I feel like I'll like this one. No question. Um, I also got a strawberry wine because I realized I feel sad saying this. I have never had a strawberry wine and I love Childress. So I got that. I think it's between one of these two that I'll put in the fridge. I might just put them both in the fridge. And then this is a Duplin, Duplin. I don't know. I don't know how you say it, but this is another red muscadine wine. Are we seeing a trend here? I think we are. I love everything from this brand as well though, so I know I'll love that one. I think I've had this one before. And then I also got this because I don't drink anything carbonated. So when it comes to alcohol, it can be hard, especially when, I mean, not that I need alcohol, but just finding beverages, period, that are not carbonated is really hard. So I like to try things when I find them. I've never seen this before. So I figured one day if we go to the beach, I can bring it, so, or just drink it here. I don't know, it doesn't matter. I just, I wanted to try it, end of story. That's everything. I'm thirsty, I'm hungry. Oh! I'm gonna open this quest box first because I'm so excited. How fun! Okay, first, I got some quest mini butter cups. Did I say what I was looking for? I was looking for the quest. Um, when I went to Walmart, I was specifically looking for the new Quest cookies and cream dipped protein bars, and they did not have them, and I was very upset. But it is what it is. And then this is so cool. This is okay. First, it's like a little lunch box. Okay. How freaking awesome it says Quest on the top. And then inside, ooh, it's insulated. Oh, I love stuff. Oh, I can take the insulation out? That is so cool, it comes apart. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna mess it up. Oh, it's actually super easy to put back together. Okay, I'm so excited, this is so cool. Okay, and there's a little bento box. I can a bento box inside. So fun. I'm tempted to. Oh, there's a stain on it. That sucks. But I think I could just throw this in the washing machine. Because, huh, I could. That's so cool because the insulation comes out. The brand is Bamboo, in case you're wondering. I guess that's the brand. It's designed in Massachusetts. It says Gemline on this tag, though. I don't know, but this is really stinking neat. Oh, I guess it's made from, I don't know. I'm gonna stop trying. But it came with this box. How do I open it? Oh, looky there, it's a little lunch box. I'm gonna put my salad dressing in the middle. I love stuff. Stuff is fun. Okay, oh, that just made my day. Okay. I guess I need to order those protein bars on Amazon because I don't want to go back to the store for them to be completely honest. I'm sure they have them on Amazon, right? All right, I'm gonna put this stuff up and probably eat a little snack. Or should I shower first? I don't really know. I was just putting my groceries away and I already had a brand new bag of self-rising flour in the corner of the pantry that had not been opened, so I guess I should probably bake something. Winnie, can I help you? Shut up. I'm just gonna put both these in the fridge. Ugh. I don't drink when Cortland's not home, but I'm, I'm tempted. I'm really tempted, but I won't do it. I won't do that. I know this pie crust is still as heck. So I'm gonna eat that tonight. You know, most people wouldn't say that. Most people would say it's stale, so I'm gonna throw it away. But no, I'm going to get rid of it by consuming it. Cause I don't like to waste food. 
That's just who I am. I just want to point out something. So the reason someone would use this honey is diabetes. Like that's really the only reason I can think. In case you're like, why on earth would I do that? You know what? Some people can't have sugar and love honey. That's why. But I'm here to taste it and tell you if, you know what? I'll taste it right now. That's really good. It doesn't taste exactly like honey, but it definitely tastes like honey. So I do recommend this if you can't have sugar. The ingredients are mallitol syrup, natural and artificial flavor, concerning. Um, I don't know what this is. A sea sulfame K and malic acid. I don't like that it's not super specific about what's in it, but it's an option. I just got out of the shower and I'm making my dinner. I'm making, what is this cruel? I'm making a little flatbread on mini naan bread. So I figured I'd show you. I just, I sprayed both sides and I put some pizza sauce on it. I'm gonna put some reduced fat mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna do a little bit of salt. I'm gonna do this over the sink. Garlic over the sink again. Now I'm gonna add some basil. I'm gonna break up some mushroom to throw on there. You know what, I feel like I should do meat first. Um, so yesterday I had ground beef and to prep it, I just grabbed an ounce at a time and made like little meatballs, but I didn't add anything to it like breadcrumbs or egg or anything like that. It's straight ground beef. And so then I know each meatball is an ounce of ground beef and four meatballs is a serving size. So it's just a super way to bulk meal prep. If that's how you do it, that's how I like to meal prep because I like to take things as I want them. That video that has been importing since this morning, I finally just got it to import and it's 6 p.m. But my flatbread is done, so that's exciting. I just prepped myself a little bit of a dessert to have later. This doesn't look super pretty because there's zero color to it. But here is my little flatbread with mozzarella, ground beef, mushrooms, and onions. Because that's what I had. So I just attempted to fill those carpenter bee holes and this crap squirted out the wrong end. And I now have a mess. I just hope that it doesn't dry it out. But I did fill a couple of the holes. Thank you, dryer. Hopefully it'll help with the issue a little bit. I don't know, I already feel like we're making progress. I feel like whatever that spray stuff is pretty well. I still haven't gotten to eat my flatbread. I haven't eaten since I had the um, rice and ground beef earlier. All right, it's time for me to try to figure out how to put this duvet cover on this duvet. I have never in my life done this before because I've never owned a duvet. But also, like, can we just talk about how, like, perfectly the duvet matches our sheets. Like that's pretty freaking cool. I like it. All right, let's 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 get to work. I don't know what I'm doing. I got the, both of them have um, eight connectors. The loop and the thing, I don't know. Like I said, I've never had a duvet before. I don't know how this works, but instead of each corner, there's a total of eight. So there's one in between two. So hopefully it'll stay on a little better. Um, yeah, so I don't know where to start. It didn't come with instructions. <laughs> I need instructions. What do you think? Oh, there's a loopy thing. Ah! <laughs> Ugh. All right, I'm not understanding. Where is the corner? Where did they go? 
I am a duvet virgin. Please don't judge me. Okay. I really need to buy new pillows. I just really don't want to. Why is there like a lump right here? I'm just gonna hope it flattens out. Alright, I don't have king size pillows. So it is what it is. <laughs> but I don't care. I honestly kinda like it like that because it tucks in and I can't see the pillow at all. I like it. But why does it kind of look bachelor pad? It's just not very girly, is it? I'm getting like my dad's vibes. I don't know why. I think he might have had the same color at one point. Well, crap. <laughs> it's okay. We're going to spice it up. We're going to make it a little more feminine. But definitely looks like a bachelor's pad right now with like no decorations on the wall and nothing on the bed. I really want a pretty like king size blanket right here. And I think we're going to do, I really want to do like a textured paint on the wall. I have no idea what I want to put above the bed. And then I think I'm going to change this. I don't like the decorations on it. It's very wedding-y. And I loved our wedding. I love that we're married. But I don't want the wedding decorations on the wall anymore. I think we're past that point. I really hope these are somewhat pretty. Hate styrofoam. Why does styrofoam just get everywhere? It even came with light bulbs. Isn't that great? We love that. So many pieces. I'm going to plug this in and make sure this works before I take everything apart. Oh, I just turned that the wrong way. What? When I ordered this, they had several different options for the glass. I remember there was like a frosted glass and then there was like the, the speckled kind, I believe. I liked this one, Cortland liked this one. So this is what we want. Oh, oh that's something else. It's, it's touch, it's touchable. Isn't that cool? Let there be light. This is so exciting. That is bright, bright. That is bright, bright, brighter. Holy cow, look at, look at those lumens. Ew, look at the fingerprints on that thing. Oh, I'm gonna have to clean this regularly. Something else to clean. Oh, I'm happy. I like it. Wait a minute. Gosh, it looks so bright. I was trying to look at it to see what I did with that one. I'm confused. Maybe I do need the instructions. It's not fitting the same way as the other one, but it'll just have to do. Cool, it works. It's not very pretty having these cords popping out of the side of my lamp, but I don't really care. All right, progress. This lump, I don't know what it is, but I need it to go away. All right, now I gotta try to get this comforter in this bag. This thing is so discolored. I don't know why I ever wanted a white comforter. I'm not doing it again. Is it pretty? Yes. But only for like three months and then it's brown. It's now 8.22. I'm feeling a little nibbly and I really want to see if my pie is ready. <gasps> it's ready. Look. You see that chocolatey goodness? Oh, a crust just fell out. A piece of crust. But it is, oh. All it is is 100 calorie, um, the graham cracker pie crust and chocolate jello mix. I used a little bit of cold brew, a, a little, little bit, and a little bit of milk, and that's it. And it's about 150 calories. And I think I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of chocolate chips on top. Taste test. Mmm. That's really good. I taste the cold brew. The cold brew made a difference. I barely put any in there. All right, it's late. I'm gonna eat this, watch Dirty John. Then I'm gonna go to bed. I have to wake up at five. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.